Dear friend out there, I want to congratulate you on your arrival at yet another important place in life called New Year 2012. Only the Lord deserves all the praise for keeping you through the past 12 months and has brought you safely into the New Year. May His great name be praised forever. It is very important somebody tells us that this is where we are in the agenda of God. I love the truth. I don't want to be told the realities or call it the implications of another year. That because we are getting older, we are inevitably closer to meeting face to face with our Creator. That the manifestation of the sons of God prophesied by Apostle Paul should now begin in our lives and that it is imperative that we ignore the trivialities of life and lay hold on God like never before. If we are going to embrace these realities and run with them, then our lives will become meaningfully fruitful, which is God's plan from the onset. Now is the time to make a fresh commitment to loving God. Moses told the Israelites, You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your strength. Yes, as they are pants for the water brooks, so pants my soul for you, God, writes the psalmist in chapter 42. My soul thanks for God, for the living God. When shall I come and appear before God? Yes, you've got to tell yourself the truth. You've got to pinch yourself. You've got to remind yourself to be the salt and the light of the world. You remember what Jesus said? You are the salt of the earth. You are the light of the world. Then he concluded, let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and give praise to your Father who is in heaven. We've got to join the woman of Samaria. I guess you remember the story of that woman who met Jesus at the well of Jacob in Samaria. We've got to join her in testifying of him. We should not let the command to preach Christ ever be lost. It's time to use every available means on earth to witness him to a lost world. Yeah, it's time you use every means available. Prayer, fasting, study of the word, fellowship, and get closer. We've got to do everything to get closer. God is beckoning on the church to come closer. Give anything and everything to keep his business going. And lastly, you've got to resist the devil. Using the armor of the spirit and the weapons of warfare, fight the good fight, contend for the faith, hate the garment spotted by sin. Remember, we are living on the edge of time. God bless you and Happy New Year.